The 29th annual Columbus Day Parade stepped off this morning along Federal Hill in Providence, and despite the concern for rain, it held off for the parade. 12 News reporter Kate Walsh joins us with a look at how families were grateful the tradition returned in a big way this year. This isn't just your average parade here on Federal Hill. Italian heritage is always on display. So this parade on Columbus Day weekend is all about celebrating that Italian heritage. Label this as only on Federal Hill. A person dressed as a jar of marinara, the late mayor Buddy Cienci on the front of it, while Frank Sinatra music plays in the background. My heritage. It's How my, often do you go? Once a year. But so we're up here quite a bit shopping and... Yeah, well, I've been here all my life. Joanne Macedonio was surrounded by family up from Florida for the weekend, all waiting to watch her husband of over 60 years drive by in the parade in an antique Columbus oil truck. Joanne showing off her freshly baked Italian bread she had just bought on the hill. That would be part of their Italian dinner after the festivities. You want to come? For other families, part of the Columbus Day Parade festivities was trying all the foods, starting with the sweets. We all come up here, it's just like a tradition thing. And what do you like to do when you're here? You got the Eat. Cool I got this cool, cool. Like cookie right here. It's pretty cool. They got cookies here. Doughboys, cookies, yeah, it's nice. everything. Don't forget the Italian sausage and peppers. Restaurant owners said it always attracts a large crowd and big business for them, but this year it had even a more special feel to it. People out, uh, business has been booming, uh, but more just that the just the enjoyment of seeing everybody kind of get back to some sort of normality after the year and a half, two years we've had. It's it's just fun. Armando Biseglia owns Baco in the heart of the festival. Last year, we shared his long battle with COVID and nearly a month on a ventilator. He said even with restaurants short-staffed, they're grateful. It's just nice to see people out. It's nice to, to see people making money, and it's, it's, you know, I mean, that's the way it should be. The festival runs through Monday, Columbus Day. In Providence, I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News.